Here we are, Amazonia, at last. A place I've always wanted to come to. And today is special because we're going to take this boat down the Madre de Dios River into Amazonia in order to find the most spectacular wildlife on the planet. This is perhaps one of the most diverse places for wildlife anywhere on Earth. And in the next week or so, we are going to try and find some of it for ourselves. Los Amigos Biological Research Station is situated in the depths of the Amazon forest. That's one of its advantages as far as wildlife and bird watchers are concerned. But it's not difficult to reach because on a river as wide as this, these vessels can go fast and get you there in just a few hours. I've only just arrived and already I can see what a wonderful place this is. Just look at the range of habitats. Curving through the landscape is the main river, flanked by wide muddy banks and sandy beaches. Then the floodplain covered in palm swamps and bamboo thickets surrounding oxbow lakes. A great place for water birds. When anyone thinks about the Amazon, brightly coloured macaws spring to mind. And not surprisingly, they are here in profusion. Seven species have been seen in Los Amigos. From the river and the floodplain below, the land rises steeply to this terrace. In front of me, I can see the start of the old growth Amazonian trees. This terra firma forest stretches over 360,000 acres. And this is the Los Amigos Conservation Area, managed by Conservación Amazonica. I cannot imagine how many species live here. But I'm going to walk some of the forest trails and find a few of them for myself. Primates are never common anywhere. There are an astounding 11 species regularly seen in Los Amigos, including the enigmatic Emperor Tamarin. By way of comparison, the whole of Costa Rica has only four species of primate. They thrive in vast, undisturbed forests, comprising a variety of habitats from bamboo thickets to ancient trees hundreds of years old. Areas where they can set up territories with an abundance of trees giving them year-round access to food. These ancient trees reach towards the sky like masts of a ship, buttressed by massive keel-like plates fanning out from their base. In the dense forest where the wind seldom penetrates, pollination and seed dispersal are most effectively done by animals. And to attract insects and some birds, flowers are brightly coloured, vivid splashes amid the greenery. Ants and termites are everywhere. There are so many species. Some live in the trees, some on the ground and some underground. These social insects are critically important to the tropical forest, scavenging and cleaning every part of the vegetation. When we're walking through the forest, we only see a fraction of what there really is. 99.9% .9 of it we never see. We never even hear. And a few minutes ago, I was, I was just bending down, doing up a shoelace, just here. And there, in front of me, I see a small, almost invisible, stick insect. Oh, there's a lot of macaws 
blue and yellow macaws just flying overhead. Um, so I'm looking at this stick insect and thinking, what's it doing there? And then I see the female, which is green, just the same colour of the leaves around it. And they're copulating. So the male is underneath the female and their rear ends are closed together, held in some sort of solution. And occasionally the male uses his antennae to brush the top of the head of the female. Seeing birds in a tropical rainforest can be a real challenge, but that's half the fun. You can walk for an hour or more and see almost nothing. Then you're suddenly surprised by the closeness of calling birds. You look around, the trees are full of them. 20 or 30 different birds moving through. 10 species maybe, all the colours of the rainbow. That's one of the exciting things about tropical rainforest birding, mixed feeding flocks. Often you have to look up so high into the tall trees, but sometimes you can see woodpeckers, like this family of crimson crested woodpeckers. Lower down it gets darker. Sunlight rarely reaches some parts of the forest floor. You have to peer through the tangled vegetation to catch a glimpse of the many birds that live there. Los Amigos is famous for its variety of tinamous. But blue-throated piping guans and pale-winged trumpeters are easier to see. They are specialists and only seen in old-growth, undisturbed forests. We found this area of bamboo. It's quite dense in places and there are some monkeys. We've been looking for these monkeys for a couple of days. Not quite sure what they are. Um, I think there's some titty monkeys and they're making such a noise. Oh my goodness me. There's, there's one up there and he's sitting on a branch and he's, he's like, like calling and shouting and another one has just joined him and there's three of them now and they're jumping up and down, they're climbing over each other and they're making... Uh, it's really quite exciting. I, I don't know whether they're they've seen me and they're, they're a bit afraid or whether it's just sort of the time of the day and they just want to have a, a good old shout. On the floodplain you can paddle around Oxbow Lakes in search of water birds. On my visit, I came across a ladderback nightjar resting on a submerged log with a group of bats as neighbours. It's difficult to know how many species live in Los Amigos, but there's someone here who might know. Ariana is a science officer at Los Amigos and works for Conservación Amazonica. Well, I like working at Los Amigos just because I really enjoy being out in the field. Uh, that's always what I'm passionate about. I really love seeing squirrel monkeys. It's, it's amazing how the forest can be quiet in a minute and then they will just pass by. They don't, they don't care who is there. They don't care what you're doing. They, they really like making their presence notice. And sometimes they're so close to you. They're looking at you, uh, very curious. That's an species that I really enjoy seeing. My favorite animal, I would have to say, is the jaguar. We have got them uh, in camera traps. Here at the station, we have a project with camera trap for mammals. We set different camera traps along our trails uh, to, to monitor and know which species are coming to the station. At Los Amigos, uh, the last count of species was uh, over 4,500 species over 120 species of mammals, 86 species of amphibians, over 70 species of reptiles. Insect diversity is like, it's amazing. It's like 
over 200 species of beetles, over 40 species of ants, and most importantly, number of birds. Here, Los Amigos, it's, it's an amazing place uh, for bird biodiversity. We have around 600 species of birds, and that's approximately uh, a third of the species uh, that are found here in Peru. Biodiversity is the sum total of all the living things in a given area, animals as well as plants. We do not know what the real number is for Los Amigos. That would take teams of biologists their whole careers to find out. What we do know is that the biodiversity here is enormous. And in a rapidly changing world where the wildlife is diminishing at an alarming rate, places like this become more important every year. The Los Amigos Conservation Area is priceless. It protects a biological and genetic treasure trove that has taken millions of years to evolve. For Peruvian students and many others from all around the world, it provides an education and is at the cutting edge of tropical forest ecology. As for the citizens of the world, the millions of these magnificent trees are our lungs, converting the carbon dioxide we create into oxygen that we may breathe. As for me, I have been woken by the eerie sound of the red howler monkeys as dawn spreads throughout the tropical rainforest. I have watched as a troop of bouncing black cat squirrel monkeys race from branch to branch. And of course, there are the birds. So many heard, but not easily seen. Those that are visible are magnificent. Some people say that life is not complete until you have visited the Amazon. However, if you want to experience wildlife at its most extravagant, I can think of no better place than here in Los Amigos.